I like to make stuff, but the problem living in Canada is that when it's winter, it's kind of hard to do any spraying or airbrushing. I don't have really good ventilation in my house, so my only options are either go outside and freeze or just gas everybody in my house. <clears throat> but luckily it's summer now, so I can make stuff again. So let me tell you kind of like the origin of how I came up with the idea for this video. Twitter kind of sucks now. Ever since Elon took over, it's cringe. All I ever see on Twitter are like fighting videos, news about celebrities that I don't even care about. And for some strange reason, Elon's tweets, like I'm interested in animation, Pokemon, and Kirby. What does Elon have to do with any of that? But amongst all that garbage, luckily I came across a Kirby fan page called Kirby Informer, which shared a post from someone called Captain Dangerous. It kind of looks like this person makes little dioramas and puts toys in them and does little photo shoots with them, which I think is like pretty cool and like honestly, that's an art form. And I want to do this too. One day when I have like money to spare and I can just buy a bunch of toys and like build dioramas, I totally want to do photo shoots like that too. But anyways, the photo that I came across was this little Kirby Nendoroid sitting in a little pot with a little plastic succulent on his head. And after seeing this photo, all I said was, I want Kirby Pot. I want Kirby Pot. And so I decided to make Kirby Pot. So let me introduce to you my new 3D printer. I just started learning how to 3D print and one great thing about 3D printing is that you can print whatever you want. <gasps> Ignore that, that's just for personal use. So we're just gonna hop into the 3D modeling software that I just kinda know how to use, Blender, also cause it's free. And we're gonna attempt to make Kirby Pot. You know, after skipping all that boring stuff, we're just gonna take that 3D model I made and then throw it into the 3D printer and wait a really long time. And after a couple hours, here's what we have. Oh, but you know, Kirby's gotta come with friends. So I also made these two little fellas here. Here's kind of like the idea I had in my head. First we have Kirby crawling into pot and taking a little nappy. Waddle D seems like the type that would just get stuck. And Waddle Doo is the type to just fall in, get stuck and succumb to his surroundings and go like, yep, this is my life now. And also I thought it'd be cute for like the plant part to be Waddle Doo's like, uh, okay, what are those? Eyelashes, hair? Comment down below what you think, help me out. So after everything's been printed, there's still some little like holes, gaps, you know, some imperfections and lumps that I'll probably have to sand out. So I found that there's usually more gaps when printing stuff that are round. So I'm just gonna be filling in those gaps with wood filler and then I'm just gonna be sanding it just to make everything smooth. So now I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats of filler primer. So it was around here where Waddle Doo decided to give up on life and just fall. Oh no! So now there's like a bunch of marks on him which means he'll just need a little bit extra sanding afterwards and maybe an extra coat of primer. And after drying and a lot of sanding, here's what we have. So I learned through trial and error that spraying a layer of white on the primer kind of helps the colors pop a little bit more. I tried painting like a 3D printed Pikachu once and the yellow just didn't show up over the gray of the primer and just looked like a sickly, dull, greenish Pikachu. After spraying all the white, it's time to start coloring all the pots.
Once that's done, there's still some spots that I kind of miss, so I'm just gonna go over that with a small brush, and then I'm just gonna paint in all the details. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna give it like a coat of matte varnish. Hello! <laughs> it's me, Waddle Do! So, fun fact did you know Kirby had an anime? I used to watch it every Saturday morning on 4Kids. Now, look at this little Waddle Do over here. Can you imagine how he sounds? How are they supposed to wake when they're hungry all the time? They want you to make your thin witches into dick witches! I don't know if that's what you were expecting Waddle Do to sound like. If you're a voice actor, please send me your attempts at what you think Waddle Do would sound like or what noises he would make, because I don't think that's what he should be sounding like. So the pots aren't really complete till we add some plants. I have some plants and some plants that I've been propagating lately, so I'm just gonna use those and add them to the pots. And here are the final results. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, Waddle Dee kind of looks like a Pikmin with a little leaf poking out of its head. Maybe I should make Pikmin planters next. I don't even know if I have enough plants for all the planters that would look amazing if I made them. If you want to sponsor me and send me some plants or 3D printing filament, please feel free to hit me up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about the pots. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Should I make more planters? What do you want to see me make next? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the stuff that I make and yeah, bye bye.